Hi, and welcome to Aftershark, WalletPop.com's post show to ABC Shark Tank. We're sitting here with Sawyer Sparks, who went into the Shark Tank looking for $125,000, and he left with $300,000. How you doing, Sawyer? I'm doing great, getting better all the time. <laughs> I bet you are. Congratulations. Yes, thank you very much. So everyone wants to know, where do negotiations stand with Play-Doh? That's where it seemed the whole deal hinged on whether you could sell your soy-based modeling dough to Play-Doh. Have you been able to so far? Uh, not yet, but we are still working at even other modeling compounds as well. And basically the route I'm on is to build up my business a little bit more and then go back and talk to them later on and, and see if my valuation of my company will be a little bit higher to my $2 million goal that I have set. They'd already offered you $500,000 and you didn't want yeah. to sell your dough to them quite yet, which is one reason you went to the Shark Tank and, uh, and Kevin O'Leary volunteered to negotiate the licensing for you. Right. Has he taken that, uh, that role now so far in, in your company? Not yet, no. No. But you expect him to negotiate a huge deal for you when the time comes? Yes, I really hope for that. <laughs> why, why would you bake one more cup of this stuff when the number one guy on earth is banging at your door? Because This I, is a very important moment for you because it's going to tell me whether you're sane or insane. No, because honestly, I really feel that if they purchase this patent from me, we would never see it again. Wait, 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 maybe that's true, but how much are they going to purchase it? Well, that's still a negoti negotiation. And so is it, is it, do you need some help in negotiating that? Yeah. Have they made I you an actual you offer? Uh, through my lawyers, but not. What was their price? There's been different offers. The highest been around 500000 uh, This product is for kids who um, might be allergic to wheat products. Because as you, your number said, one in eight kids have some sort of gluten right. allergy. Right, and that, that's including children with autism and children with ADD and ADHD who are all living wheat-free lifestyles because they have found that if um, a child is on a wheat-free lifestyle that has one of those disorders, it helps out with their um, disorder tremendously. Well, now, you've been cooking this stuff up in your kitchen with your mom and your girlfriend up till now. Are you still doing that? Yes, and actually my girlfriend's now my fiance. Oh, congratulations. But, uh, yes, thank you. And yes, we still do it, and we are looking into uh, a facility right now in our hometown to create jobs, and we're right now negotiating on, on um, signing the, the title of the facility that we're going to be purchasing. Well, what did you do with the $300,000? Uh, nothing yet. <laughs> you're, you're earmarking it for the future. Yes, yes. Right. Um, well, I read an interview that when you went to a casting call, it was filled with people who uh, were sort of desperate. This was their last chance to get their businesses off the ground. Um, are you finding that's the, that's the case uh, for, for young businessmen like yourself coming out of college right now? Well, for me, it's just the beginning. Um, when I went in there to the casting call in Chicago, there were so many people that when I talked to them, it was their last chance for their business because they had went to banks and tried to get loans. but. Me, I never really did that, and I went into the Shark Tank with the mindset that whatever happened, um, I will always continue to be an entrepreneur, and that's still the day. And I'm still going to continue selling my dough and increase uh, my numbers on the percent that I'm selling, and hopefully go back to Hasbro later on and see if I can get a, a higher over the two million dollars. When will you know it's time to go back to Hasbro? I'm hoping around January. Um, I'm hoping to sell about 100,000 containers this year, and so that's kind of where I'm at when that happens, and that's that's my goal, and that's when I'll, I'll attempt to sell them. And that's a huge increase, because at the time you were in the Shark Tank, you'd only sold 8,000, so you're going from eight to 100,000 within a year. Yes, yes, and I really think after this, and increasing our, our market, because that was with absolutely no sales, and in the, that was since February, and so we've had a tremendous amount of sales since then, with, again, no advertising. Do you have a wheat allergy yourself? I do not, and actually when this started about a year ago, I had no idea what um, celiac disease was, and I did not know that uh, people actually had a problem playing with the modeling compounds, and it's unbelievable the emails that I received from uh, our, my customers that let me know that this is their child's best birthday because this is the first time that they've ever played with a modeling compound. Well, now, what I want to know, though, is what does it taste like? Everyone wants to know what the Play-Doh tastes like. 
It tastes horrible. <laughs> it tastes really, really bad. So that's fine. People will just play with the Sawyer dough rather than eating it. Yes, and um, I remember when I was little, I used to take little little bites of Play-Doh, uh, and um, I would never take little bites of this. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want kids to eat the craft product anyway. No, no. <laughs> congratulations though on the three hundred thousand dollars. Congratulations on on uh, your plans to get married, and good luck with yes. selling it to Hasbro later on down the road. Thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you very much. If you want to watch more videos about the people who've been on Shark Tank, including all the sharks, you can see them right here on Wallapop.com.